Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbed down the chimney On this cold December day We are on our merry way All right, guys, I really don't like having the camera this super close to me, but I thought I would share with you. You guys have asked if I can show you how I do my brow. So you can see I did one. Guys, looky, I have like really barely any brow. So I wanted to share with you, getting up close and personal, how I do it. All right, so I use Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is it right here. I use either a chocolate or I think dark brown. All right, so here we have it. So let me show you what I do. I'm gonna bring my mirror a little closer. And actually I need the magnifying side <laughs> first. I start off first with it. So let me show you how I do it. So I wanna give it just like little light strokes. Hold on, I don't have this angled right. You guys, can you see? Oh God, this is really gonna be difficult. Okay, hold on, let me let it focus because I have some light in here. Okay, ready? All right, so hold on, you know what? I'm gonna have to flip this back around. This is gonna be too hard. Okay, so you guys ready? So what I do is I do little light kind of strokes here. As you can see, I'm like almost making it look like I'm having it go the way like the hair goes to the side a little bit. I'm just giving light little strokes. You guys see this? And then I end it like right around here just because my eyes normally go down. So I want it to give me more of a lifted look. Then you just sort of go back in and then fill in again with some light little strokes. Do you see that? All right, so I'm going to do it just a little bit more, then I'll show you how I define it. Okay, filling in just a tad more, it's just a little fuller. Okay, so then I get this from Mac. Hold on, let me open it. <laughs> My goodness, are you kidding me? This opens like so easy. Oh, there we go. You can tell it's really used. Okay, and I'll list everything I've used in the description section. So I've got to get a new one of these. And this teeny little brush. And then I take a little bit. And then I basically outline it gently. You see? Then I do the same thing here on top and I get my finger and I rub it in and I rub it in down here just gently trying to bring it down you don't want to bring it up into into the bra that you just you know defined and then I put it right on the edge here I'll try to do it this way see how it just sort of cuts right into that a little bit And I look in the mirror to see if they look semi-match. You don't want them remember, brows or sisters, not twins. And I think that's, that's it. So there you have it. That's how I do my brows. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. And I'll check in with you guys when I'm all done. I right, share with you today's outfit of the day. This cozy, cozy hat. I can't remember where I got this one from. I'll link it below once I figure it out. My little faux fur vest, my cozy sweater, jeans, booties, and I'll show you from here. And of course the two orchids. Um, here's my outfit. Gorgeous earrings, sparkly. Alrighty, you guys, let's head to the kitchen. I'm gonna go get a little festive to-go coffee for our trip to Meander. Let me get my door closed so you know who doesn't go in there when we're gone. And we put this back. So what I was thinking, I might make a, I think it's a peppermint mint from Bed Bath & Beyond um, for my winter warmers collection. Yep. My reusable cups from Starbucks. Oh, the mailman's across the street, and you know who little Archie sees him. So I think I'm gonna make my. Sorry about Archie. Hold on, I'm dropping things everywhere. 
Okay, I'm gonna make my peppermint bark here coffee. And I'll show you guys my secret, my secret. If you guys know, before I do this, I have some of those like 80, not 80% 80 cocoa chips. It's gonna be a peppermint mocha. Do my very own Festo drink today. All right, let's get it going here. I'm gonna add my leaner creamer and then I'll show you the secret little ingredient I'm gonna put on top. Add in my leaner creamer. Okay, I think that's pretty good mixed in there. And look at this. This is the Skinny Syrup Whipped Foam Topping. And this one is chocolate peppermint flavor. I mean, how perfect is this? I'm gonna shake her up. Sorry if this is shaking with me. <laughs> and let's see, hold on. So hard to do this stuff with the one hand, you guys. Oops, oh my gosh. <laughs> it scored across. Okay, wait a minute. I might have to aim this thing down. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So, yum, yum. I'm going to put my lid on. I saved this one from my last Starbucks, and I just keep reusing it so I can put it around my festive reusable cup. All right. I'm going to get my bag. Got my festive coffee drink. So, if you guys want to join me for my little trip to Meander Hill, Stop this real quick. Make yourself a festive coffee. I'm gonna get you know who out real quick. Get in the car and we're gonna head to Meander Hill. Here we are. I know for those of you who have followed me before, this is called Meander Hill. You can smell the wood burning fireplace from out here. It's so cozy, so festive. Just wait till we get inside. I still remember how I used to feel. Look at us now, walking around in the snow. We do it in a very Christmas way
goodness, I got a lot of couple candles and um, you saw those little Christmas trees that said joy. I love this place so much and they are so nice in here you guys so if you do ever check out meander hill please tell them karen from the two orchids sent you uh they're just so sweet so now we're gonna go get a gift for aunt missy i wanted to get her something inside of meander hill and she went here the other day so when i talked to her this morning i tried to get out of her what she all purchased from there and i really she told me one thing but i wasn't sure so i thought oh my goodness so let me see where we can go. I have an idea. Oh guys, I feel like I've been so bad with eating this week. I mean, eating out, I guess I should say. We're going to dinner tonight. I did yesterday the um, little bites and then I had a salad and the chicken noodle soup from Panera Bread, which really is not bad. But right now, I'm in Chick-fil-A drive through because I'm so hungry. So what I do to get is I get a side salad. I know if you guys have watched my vlogs, I've shared this before. I get a side salad and I get just a small thing of chicken nuggets. And I just, um, I don't put any dressing in it. And I sort of just, um, I don't know, just the flavor of the chicken with just the lettuce is really delicious. And so that's normally sometimes my, when I'm out and about lunch, so. I'm gonna eat that because I'm getting a little bit of a headache because I'm so hungry and it's noon. So, um, and I haven't eaten anything. So I'm gonna go through the drive-through, eat that real quick. I have a gift cart for Marshalls, which is right here. So I may run in there and then I'm gonna go get Aunt Missy's gift. Okay guys, I'm sitting here, Marshalls parking lot, reading your comments from yesterday's Vlogmas. I always take notes, so I try to remember to answer some of your questions today. Um, Leaner Kramer, one of you guys asked me. Well, you know what? I'm finding that you can find it actually at Marshalls or TJ Maxx Home Goods. Um, I like it. You know, I used to use Cremora. Was it Cremora? What the heck is the one I use? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I love Leaner Kramer. I love the flavor of it. It's supposed to make, it's supposed to be like a leaner version. I know one of you said I should really check what's all in it, but I like it, you guys. I just really like it. So check Home Goods. Um, but also check leanercreamer.com. Um, hair products. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna share with you guys when I get home. Hope I don't forget. The hair products I've been using lately that have been making my fine hair nice and full and floppy. I am loving this uh, hair cocktail, I guess I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm gonna list Mark's shoes um, in this description section below uh, tonight. You guys wanted, one of you asked what one of my favorite holiday cocktails is, and mine is actually a pomegranate martini. On sweet and iced tea, by the way. Um, it was, it actually is Oprah's favorite holiday cocktail, and it's been my favorite for probably, oh gosh, you guys, 20 some years. I love it. Um, stocking stuffer ideas. What I do is I wrap all kinds of things that I find for the girls, like Tic Tacs, you know, um, little lippies that I get from Ulta. What I'll do is I'll buy like a, a pack that's like a holiday pack, and then I will break up the pack and then just like put little lippies in there, like little Buxoms or Stila's, and like hand lotions, um, like shower gels, like again, all from like Ulta, and um, what else do I put in there? I used to put nail polish, but all the girls get their nails with gel, so I don't do that anymore. A nail, nail file, that's always a good thing. As I think of more, I'll share them with you. Um, I'm trying to, oh my goodness, did I delete my note by accident? Oh no, I had all these notes. Oh, recently deleted, let me check. Yep, there we go. Um, that's about all I wrote so far. So, okay, I'm gonna finish. Oh, let me show you guys my little lunch, my little concoction here. Okay. So I got just my little side salad here, my little nuggets, and I did get a little um, honey mustard. So I even put a couple little drops of honey mustard in here, and this is what I eat with my um, iced tea. I'm gonna finish eating real quick and run into Marshall. I opted to bail from Marshall's because I forgot we need a toaster. So I'm gonna run into Kohl's, get a toaster. We're gonna go to Alta, get a gift, and I'll show you some stocking stuffers there. So let's go into Kohl's and see if we can find a good deal on a really good toaster. It's actually only in the 30s today, guys. It's really chilly. It was snowing earlier, but it's not now. I wish it was, because it makes it more festive when you're Christmas shopping. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry 
no luck at Kohl's for a toaster. They have like a really horrible selection. So now I'm gonna run into Alta, get what I need to get, and then maybe go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I did find some little gifts for our little gift exchange. We do like a small little gift exchange. And let me remind me, remind me, hopefully you can remind me, or I can remember to tell you what we're gonna do this year instead of buying gifts for each other um, at our family Christmas Eve um, dinner over Aunt Missy's. Oh, I am home, you guys, I got all these fun bags so I wanna share with you one of the, well, some of the things I got from me and Hill first. All right, so I've got, um, I love these. I just love uh, my big things of festive matches because you know I love my candles. And uh, I got a Mistletoe Kisses um, warmers. So I'm gonna put these in my little Scentsy ones. And this candle, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. Um, let me see what the scent is here. Holly tree. Oh my goodness, I wish we had smell a video because it really smells like Christmas. And of course, you guys, my all-time favorite mistletoe kisses. I mean, it is absolutely the best, best Christmas candle ever. I love mistletoe kisses. And look at how cute this is. Little trees and it spells out joy. So these are my goodies from Meander Hill. I did find a toaster, a Cuisinart toaster here um, at Kohl's. Not Kohl's, I'm sorry, Bed Bath & Beyond. And... I got a little philosophy thing for Aunt Missy. I'm gonna add something else to her little gift bag. And some stocking stuffers here for the girls. And these are the um, Tree Hut little um, moisturizers, the Kiehl's, I love the Kiehl's lip balms. And I got another Kiehl's little goodie here. And what else? Oh, I did get one, th one thing for myself, but actually I have it on right now is the Kim K Lippy, and this one is the shade Nude 4. And I actually have it on right now. And let me see, I've got some birthday cards. Um, we do like a $5 fun game um, at Aunt Missy's on uh, Christmas Eve. So um, these were 50% off, and it's like, you know, bourbon, or whatever you wanna call these. Those big, um, what do they call Ice cubes. Ice cube kind of a thingy for highballs or whatever. And then this one is like a sleeve, a fit six can, so you can put whatever you want in there. And those are always fun if you're just going like to a concert or you know, sitting out in the park in the summer and going to like a little, a little uh, outdoor fest, not a festival, but like outdoor concert or something like that. And I got this for little Archie. Gonna have to wait until Christmas for his little dog toys look at how cute these are <laughs> so yeah that's what Archie got um anything else guys oh look at this how cute is this I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond oh it's so cute so I just put this little um you know candle that it's like on a timer for four hours on it but look at that I just love snow globes that the snow just keeps blowing around so that was this a candle holder see so cute do I have it here in the entryway okay so that's it for gifts and things oh you guys if you're trying to you know look for something for like clients or to send someone you just don't know what to send we get these from a client every year and I am telling you guys they are so good the company is Wolfermans and we get from one of Mark's client doctors um, these little what are they considered? Like little mini loafs? You guys, I'm telling you, I know I've got a little smash here, but these are amazing. <laughs> they're so tasty and they're so good with coffee. It's great to have something to throw out when you have company. So this one is apple loaf cake. I mean, I'm, guys, seriously, they taste so good. This one is cranberry orange loaf, which is one of my favorites. This one is lemon raspberry loaf. And this one is chocolate caramel loaf. So if you are trying to, you know, just need a gift idea for someone, I'm telling you, check out, and I'll put, I'll put their website and phone number um, in the description section for you guys because I think it's a great cold gift idea that they're really delicious and perfect when you have, you know, guests stop in, you know, for the holiday season. Maybe you're not, you know, making cookies or you just want to have something you can put out with a cup of coffee, a pot of coffee or some tea, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff put away and chill out and start editing this because 
we got dinner with uh, for Aunt Missy tonight, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this vlog out tonight, guys. And if I don't, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna get moving. Real quick before I start editing, I'm looking at Christopher Allen's advent calendar, day three, Vlogmas day three. By the way, this is December 3rd, just so you guys know. I am like right with the days. Okay, um, give us as many, oh, give, uh, give as many hugs as you can is today and trust me i'll be giving a ton of hugs today because you know we're going to be going out for dinner family dinner okay let's see what's in my little advent calendar here number three. Oh my goodness this was so perfect smile at everyone you see today you guys i can't even begin to tell you how wonderful it was today out and about shopping i was wishing everybody merry christmas they were wishing me merry christmas it was so fun and so festive so and i do that all the time though that's just who i am okay so here you guys go number three well you guys since i had my hat on all day i did not want to wear a hat to dinner tonight so i wanted to show you the products that i'm using to be honest with you my hair fluffed right back up after i just ran my hands through it so this is the um, southern bell the dry bar and it is the volume booster mousse and so I've been using this all over when my hair is wet. Hopefully, I don't know if this is focusing or not. And then I've been using this Kenra Platinum. And this is the thickness spray all over my roots as my hair is wet too before I dry it. So that's it. These two. And I tell you what. I mean, my hair is not as full as it normally would be right now. But not bad for having a hat on all day today. So... All right, we're gonna, I didn't even change because where we're going, it's not even really like it's fancy, fancy, but it's really delicious. So, all right, we're gonna head out here in a few minutes. Hi, I'd show with you guys what I'm getting tonight, which is a walleye francais and yes, a couple little bites of their pink sauce. Pasta because it's like one of my favorites. Missy's got her glasses on. What did she took them off? She's opening her present. But don't you love her buffalo check sweater? Old Navy, she told me, and I love it. Guys, we are home. We had such a nice dinner celebrating Aunt Missy's birthday. Dinner was fabulous. So now we're home. We're going to do advent calendars. I'm going to call in a night. Um, try to get this thing uploaded and out to you guys tonight. So let's see. I already, I, I already found number three and started to open it a little bit, you guys. And here's me in the uh, mirror. All right, so let's see what we got in number three. All right, hopefully this one won't be as hard to open. Okay, this is the It Cosmetics. Hold on, guys. Bye Bye Under Eye. Illuminating. Oh, I like this. I love the It Cosmetics stuff. So uh, I definitely will use this one. So here you go. All right, so we're going to go to Madeline. And I saw number three somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. Down here. So let's go to here. I'm left-handed, so it's really hard for me to hold this camera. Oh, there we go. You guys, feel me if you're a lefty. You get where I'm coming from here. Okay, let's read what this one says. It says, secrets are stirring all through the shop. From proper tin soldiers to bright, shiny tops. Okay, what's that? And let's see, there's a little soldiers. Aw. Mark loved his chocolate last night, so I'll pull this one out for Mark. Okay, so here's number three. Alright, stuck my stuck stuck my finger in to get this thing open. Oh, this is oh it looks like a bath bomb. Alright, I might need I don't know. Might need a little assistance getting this out. Okay, so this one is the strawberry bath bomb. Oh my gosh, it smells really, really good. So you know what? This winter season, I'm going to be loving this. Taking a nice hot bath during the freezing cold weather. I'm all in for that. So here you have it. Okay, so in order for me to get this out to you guys tonight, it's already 818. I have an hour and 45 minutes to get this vlog edited, saved on my laptop, uploaded to YouTube, and do my description. So I've got a lot to do. So I want to say good night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks so much for watching.